Alrighty, welcome back to another math video. Today we're going to look at the an integration of the uh, logarithmic functions. Um, I assume you've looked at the differentiating log functions video. If you haven't done that, you need to go back and look at that first. From that video, from differentiation of logs, we had a few rules. Uh, our rules were if you had if you differentiate log x, l and x, that got you one on x. And you can see us derive that in that video. We also had a more generalized version of the rule, which we did using the chain rule. We derived using the chain rule that says if you differentiate uh, log of f of x, then that is going to get you f dash x on f of x. They are the two rules that we came up with last video. If you haven't seen them, you haven't, uh, I would recommend going and having a look at that. Moving on though, we're not differentiating, we are uh, integrating. Integrating of course being the uh, inverse operation of differentiating, so differentiating but backwards. So we're going to try and get rid of differentiating here and just go for integrating. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to integrate both sides of these two equations. So integrating this side here, Firstly, integrate that with respect to x, integrate this here with respect to x. Um, what's going to happen on this side here, the integral is going to cancel with the differentiating. So I'm going to be left here with log x, and on this side here I've got the integral of 1 on x dx. So I can rewrite that as the integral of 1 on x dx equals log x. And of course I need to include a c in this, the constant of integration. It does get a little bit lost in the mix uh, cancelling out here. But make sure the c is there. C. One other thing, uh, one of the properties of logs is that we must always take the log of something positive, so um, log x, x must be positive. So we will add an additional um, absolute value sign in here as well. So absolute value, log the absolute value of x plus c. So the integral 1 on x dx, log absolute value of x plus c. And that's going to be a course theorem. So that one there, important, write that down, get to know it, get familiar with it. The more general case, of course, of our differentiating rule came from the chain rule. Um, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to come along and integrate both sides. Integrate both sides. So the integral differentiating um, on this side will cancel out. So again, I'm left with log f of x. And that's going to be equal to the integral of f dash x on f of x dx. Also include the constant, so we'll put a c in here as well. And like our previous rule, we need to make sure that's absolute value as well. So the integral, our second rule for today, our more general rule, f dash x on f of x dx is equal to our log absolute value of f of x plus c. Okay. Up there, a second course theorem for today. The second one here, of course, the more useful version, a little bit more complicated to look at. That is the general idea. A few notes on this. Um, what we're going to do, when we our uh, functions, we're going to have um, f of x on the bottom. We may need to play around with constants a little bit to get f dash x to be the same, to work for a log question in here. Also worth noting, well, there's our two rules. If I did have a question like integrate, let's get red, integrate um, 1 on 3x plus 2 dx, what we did previously, we rewrote that as being the integral of 3x plus 2 to the minus 1. This becomes an issue when we increase our power to be zero. 
increase our power it becomes zero minus one becomes a zero so the integration here can't really happen we're not going to use that method there for this so while this is a handy trick if you had something like squared on the bottom or something cubed on the bottom all in brackets so if you had this here I would be going for something like this but if you've got a power of negative one in there I would generally avoid it what we're going to do we're going to use log integration for this. So just doing this question, just to give you guys an idea, uh, just one example here before I do an example video. Um, what I need to do, I need to get this form here, f dash x on f of x dx. So I let my bottom part here be f of x. f dash x then, well differentiating this is going to get me 3. So I need to get a 3 on top of my integral here. Cancel that out. Um, if that's 3 there, I need to cancel it, put a 1 on 3 out the front. So the 1 on 3 here, 3 here would cancel. This is f of x here. I've just fudged, fudged a little bit to get f dash x on top. Okay. And now it is of the form f dash x on f of x, f dash x on f of x. So it's going to be a log. So this is equal to a third of the log, absolute value, f of x, so 3x plus 2, and then plus c. And that's my question done. Okay. I'm always working to get f of x on the bottom, f of x, f of x every single time, f dash x on top here. Okay. Here it's a nice linear function. I can of course pull something in with squares or cubes, something of that variety as well. Um, but always going for f of x on f dash x for a log integral. Okay, uh, and then plus c. Make sure you fudge the top nicely as well, um, so you do get f dash x on the top there. Um, that's the rule. That's how to derive it. I'll put some more examples in another video. Um, if you're struggling with this, have another look at the video. Pause. Go back. Uh, look in your textbook, make use of some of the resources you guys have got available to you. Otherwise, um, thanks for watching and all the best with your integration of log functions.